this school is in my district, District 35, State Senate District 35, and I want to be in touch with the schools. And so I come by to see them regularly to try to understand what's going on. This school has some great programs as far as engineering is concerned, but tonight, of course, we celebrated band. I'm an old trumpet player. I graduated from Murphy and Sidney Phillips, so I love that. And, uh, of course, the art program as well. And this is great to celebrate the achievements of the kids. Let the parents see it. Let everybody in the community see what's going on, because there's great things going on in Mobile County School System. This is our 16th annual Arts Extravaganza Night, and it's a, an event we do every year. It's our culminating activity for the school year, and it incorporates all of our elective department here at Burns Middle School. That includes the art, chorus, band, computer technology, and our science STEM forensic teacher. So that's everybody in the entire building and it showcases all the good things that our children have done throughout the years and how important the arts are to our system and how important they are to what our children learn each day because that teaches problem solving more than you know. So that, and that's what a lot of people want in the work world is problem solving. And so that, there's a lot of good things we do with our children in our electives. I have a lot of really wonderful parents that love coming to these events and they're very supportive. They come out for all the events that the children do. I've had my students work uh, in different shows around the, you know, around Mobile, etc. Lately, and they always come out to them. They're always thrilled, and in fact, to tell you the truth, they might wind up becoming a lot of good friends to me once we get finished because they have such a great rapport with their children. And they can't believe sometimes their children create some things. And it's like when you listen to Lee's band in there, Mr. Hughes's band. You really, if you close your eyes, you're not going to believe you're listening to a middle school group. You really think you're listening to high school or beyond. They're very good. So uh, we come up with a lot of interesting things here at Burns. A few years back, when we first opened the school, Mr. Stringfellow started us out with the ceiling tiles. And he was interested in us doing ceiling tiles. And so I did two or three, you know, at first. And then I started having my seventh grades do it. And then my eighth grades do it. And now it fills the whole school up. And our children do come back. To, to see the ceiling tiles. In fact, they go, is mine going to be there? And it always is. So they're very tickled to come back and see their artwork. And it has a variety, it, it has a warm feel when you come in the building. You know, people enjoy looking at it. And then we have some, over to the back of me, behind me, we have some, um, oh, some frame pieces of artwork that our PTA has been very generous to frame for us. We start out with 10 a year. This money got a little tight. We did five a year. So they're very good at doing artwork for us. We have probably about 100 frame pieces of artwork in our uh, collection right now and I'm very impressed with that and I'm very happy about that because and the children are tickled they'll even ask hey can I do uh, can I do a frame piece of artwork and so they're very tickled to have theirs up and they come back to look for it believe it or not so that's a wonderful thing about putting up artwork that children do. So. I always look forward to coming to the arts extravaganza night uh, they've done it for ever since the school began Miss Stewart who is the uh, PTA Middle School Teacher of the Year, well-deserved, uh, has always uh, kind of set this up. And uh, you get to see the students' artwork, you get to see uh, the band play, the chorus sing, uh, you know, the uh, science projects, all of those kind of things. And it's kind of a culminating activity for the year. And I think it's wonderful because for parents, they get a chance to see their kids especially in the fine arts in particular, what they've done all year and gives the kids something to work for. So I never miss this, I always like to come to it.